Okay, so we'll be starting with Abdulaziz Ishaka. I'm asking you to unmute now. Abdulaziz. Okay, seems is not on call. Let's move to the next person. Precious. Adeniji Precious. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. Please, hi, Bami. I saw the unmute um, icon, so I was taking my name because I was trying to get my earpiece. Okay, yeah, yeah, yes. Hey, Bami, you can unmute. Okay, so um, so um, my design, actually, actually, um, I had to go to the Google Google Play Store first to check for um the reviews and to validate the fact that to validate the fact that okay this this actually a problem that people are really looking to solve so that was the first thing I did and I I I found that that um uh, I got like two reviews that were uh, like suggesting to us up to have um a a schedule feature on the app and. Moving beyond that, I also made some. I also did my user research, so I contacted um one of my colleague and asked, okay, um, well, I I made some research as in, I had some interviews with her, and uh, in which she explained her frustrations and some other issues aside from the scheduling feature. Some other issues she she was having with herself, issues like being unable to. Um, edit uh, what's it called? Edit status, uh, our status because most times when you, when you post your status, you have to delete uh, everything just to when never you make a mistake. So those are just some other issues she was she discussed with me. But the major thing I focused on was the scheduling. So then I I then that's when I went to the uh, what's it called? I did my uh, research on other other hubs to see how to see how the scheduling process is and um i actually hoped for um a long press i'm trying to connect to my system now but i don't know so that i can but can i just continue so i actually opt for a long press because um if we are we are somewhat used to pressing the um button to send directly and um, now, if you are having a feature that, okay, I know that I'm sending now, if I'm to change the positioning of um, sending, sending, um, I was scheduling the message, if I'm to change the position, it might, it might look strange to the user because they are not used to that probably change of location or change of icon on the, what's it called? On the screen. So I still decided to make use of the normal send button then assume that um, we will have a long press, not more than three seconds. On the norms, once you tap, you send your message. But in this scenario, you have a long press, not more than three seconds, then you have a pop-up that bring out your schedule and that bring out um, is a calendar for you to schedule able to schedule your cut my design the, the last screen you you, you observe that uh, um after you send after after sending the message 
first sending the message on the message it's a red um the red statement below telling that so i hoped for the red uh, the reason i hoped uh, opted for the red color was um you know red red is more or less like it it's it's like creating an alarm that okay this thing has not been sent like this thing has not been sent so that's it so even if you have um type some more other messages and um uh, yet it's been uh, due to the fact that you have a red text telling that this message has been scheduled and having just a single tick on it will tell you that okay this message has not been sent yet uh, because and also uh, you know whatsapp have this double tick with a blue with a blue um with a book color um telling you that a user have uh, got the message so that is that's the reason i i um that that's just my design process and another thing though i test i test um the design with um the user i test the design with the user and um she was like making some suggestions though i've not been able to implement so she was like making some suggestions that okay the users uh, might not be really might might be so used to the send button that whenever they click on the whenever instead of them long pressing for like three seconds before they send they might they might find it difficult because they are so used to just sending directly from that um icon so that probably i should work around it but i've not really been able to um implement that because i'm still trying to take for how best how best can we uh, can i do this just to make sure that um I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not even causing more errors for the user because you no, know, we are. We are all used to sending our message just pressing the send icon straight up. Now, getting the user to now press three seconds might take a lot of time because they are not used to it. So that's that's the other part I'm still trying to um, see how 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 best I can um, work around it. But so far so good. That's all I did on my design. Thank you. All right. So thank you very much. Are about me? Okay. So you said something about um your user complaining when you tested it, and she suggested something for you. Then you made a statement that you're thinking how best that you can use to solve that solution, that problem. Actually, you're not supposed to think because you're not the user. So since let's let's just assume you're using just this one person as as your user. So let's take it like um, several people are giving you that suggestion. So that's what you're going to follow. Because looking at it, yes, send button is um, people can really adapt to it quickly because you still have um, voice notes uh, around that part. But there, there's a way you can actually do it. It can also be done swiping. Like I noticed that if you swipe on your screen, if you're using Mac OS, iPhone, you notice that you can pin your chart and you can unpin your chart, all those kind of features. So it can easily blend in there. Well, I actually like your process, how you went about, how you got went to um, Play Store first, to first of all, see the views and look at people's complaint before going further to do your research. So um, well done, well done on that. So the next person I'm going to call is Ayodeji. I'm asking you to unmute Ayodeji. All right. Um. Good evening. Yeah. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Um. I I don't have my system here with me, but I think I can still give out some of the things that I did, at least I, I did it myself. So I think I should be able. Um, at first, when the uh, when I got the assignment, I was unable to really do a concrete research, but I discussed with two of my friends that were around. So um, I, you know, the question, the assignment is majorly on scheduling of message, like WhatsApp schedule feature, features rather. And um, after now, after asking them what they say about it, if it will be needed, if it is, I think one one does not did not really see the need for it. While the other one said it would be to really be a good um, thing, it will it will be a good development to the to the product. 
So I went on to interview the one that showed interest and I wanted to know why he said it would be a really good development. He said because he also had the same experience with the Zenith Bank mobile app. On his Zenith Bank mobile app, he said um, it is very possible for him to schedule transfer. It is also very possible for him to schedule airtime, subscription and the likes. So that gave me more interest because I've I've not seen something like that before on my own mobile app, my own banking mobile app. So I had to go through the app. I saw everything. Um, and based on that, I also deduced his own pain point. Pain point being that um, there are some times that it might feel like sending, um, what is it called? That is from the banking banking app aspect now. And there are some times um, I feel like sending money, majorly, not money now, data rather, because the subscription is on basis, maybe weekly basis. So he has fixed it there such that um, even without him, him gaining access, logging into his mobile app, he can, he can buy data at his, no, at his own will without logging in now. The, the system is set, is in place already. So it just sees its data at the specified time. So I use that as the, I use that as my, my if I want, yeah, the competitive audit now. So um, that was like the competitive product, the Zenith Bank mobile app. So I went through it. Um, after that, I also went online and check if there was any, um, any product that also has the same feature. Actually, I did not really see, but I also saw some works that have been done in um, in regards to that. You know, how people have said something about WhatsApp, scheduling message and the likes. And the ones I saw, one of the solutions I saw, or uh, the, um, the, the recommendations that people put forth was um, majorly if there can be a long press like the former speaker said, I think that was Ayobami, like there could be a long press option just on the same send, how, you know, the, the normal send icon we have on WhatsApp. Because on the normal day, if you are not on the chat bus, the send icon, we have a kind of speaker. That is where we do our voice note. That is where we send VN. But the moment you press the chat bus and your, your keyboard pops up, the what's it called? The microphone icon changes immediately to the send icon. So um, to avoid load on that same icon, I had to bring a kind of scheduling icon that has a message, a message, um, a calendar icon and a time icon inside, inside the chat box itself. Because inside the chat box, you will see this kind of clip there where you can send, you can send uh, what's it called document and the like so it was beside it and now the two icons inside the chat chat box before were in gray color that is the one for emoji and the one for the document sharing so it was beside the, beside the document sharing, I had to put the calendar icon is it it, it it contains calendar and a time a clock icon very small one and it's visible enough and i think that would be intuitive enough at, with the brand color of whatsapp um, you know, showing the user that you can schedule message here because that is how, you know, how it is also visible on that Zenith Bank mobile app. So when you click on the icon, it pops up, it pop, it, it the calendar, it, there's this kind of, the interface pops up and you are, you'll be able to pick the date, pick your specified date, the, 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 the date you want the message to be delivered and the time you want the message to be delivered. So you pick the date first, you pick the time next and you send. So the moment you send, you, you receive your confirmation confirmation message that your message was scheduled. And um, the message will be there on, on the person's DM, but it won't have this blue tick showing that the message was delivered. No, it will still retain that icon, that schedule icon, the one I placed on the chat box. So it will, it will remain there under the message showing that it is not yet delivered, that the time is... So uh, my own um my solution my design solution to this 
it's not i did not really bring it from you know settings aspect and i decided to go into the into the chat but no you know normally when someone is chatting and you know how to that's how i went through the process and that's all for now okay so uh, thank you very much so i would quickly want to make a suggestion yeah please okay. if you are if you're actually no not for you though but if you're actually close to your system it will be very good for you to work us through the process uh, and also when you're working us through the process make sure you try to um touch on all the um design thinking process from empathy define just like that because that's the process if you're going for an interview first of all let's just assume that they don't know that you vote on whatsapp solution and they want you to tell them about your your process your design process you need to cover up cover up this even if it's uh, empathizing okay say empathizing what you did while you're empathizing with your users and the rest of them so if you're close to your system it's also very good because and um, visual um, representation actually makes more sense than just talking to us. But if you're not close to your system, it's also fine. We can work with that. So thank you very much. I actually loved your process, how you went about the whole design. How you also had to look at your competitors, even if it's, they are not your direct competitors. It's actually very nice that you had to look at your indirect competitors, gaining more, more examples, more things that you Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to call the next person right now. So, Ruda, you're next. I'm asking you to mute. Um, hi, hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Good evening. Are you with your system or you just want to talk? Uh, I'm with my system. Okay, so so I should just make you a course so that you can share your screen for us. Okay, I I'm going to share my screen, but I'm not yet done with my chat. Okay. Should I still go ahead and share my screen? Yeah, sure. Okay. So just give me some minutes while I fix that. Oh, okay. Okay, so um, whether you can be speaking, be speaking when when your screen can come up, I'll let you know. Oh, okay, that's fine. Um, good evening. So, the tax which is on WhatsApp is looking to add a new feature that can make or help you schedule messages for later. Um, okay, so I was able to use the tools research um persona empathy map and also going to the design phase so for the research i spoke to different groups because i believe that whatsapp is a kind of universal tool and it's just not for the younger generation so i spoke to um some elderly people who kind of use the platform and younger ones as well um from the interview I conducted with them, I was able to come up with my user personas for the two distinctive groups. Um, the first one being the younger group and the second, the elderly ones. And from their pain points, the first group, okay, they are working class, of course, um, they need to send messages. And most times they get overwhelmed with work issues, family, and, they just, or maybe skips their mind to send message they're meant to send at a particular time. And it could get really frustrating because there's some messages that if they don't go 
across when they are meant to, it just brings up a lot of issues. So the first person I spoke to, she was very, very okay with the idea of having a, an option rather to schedule messages. But then she also had some concerns. Um, she asked questions like, okay, if what if she is not on her app? And how does the message get to go through? Or does it mean that WhatsApp will not have the, the access, right, to view her messages? And I was able to help her understand the whole WhatsApp end-to-end -end encryption. Okay, these guys, they can't actually read your messages. All you're letting them do is send these messages for you. So we're able to come to a conclusion that it will actually be a very good user experience if you can schedule messages and it just goes through at that particular time, um, notwithstanding whether you have network or maybe your battery is charged. So even though your phone goes off, the message should be able to go through because you have scheduled it at that particular time. And if it's able to work this way, it um, enhances the process because you are rest assured that, okay, I've scheduled this message and it is definitely going to go through. The second group I spoke to, about two elderly people um, from the research, I was able to come up with their own persona. So the first person, he's actually retired and yeah, both of them are retired actually. But then because of the whole COVID-19 Thingy. They had to move to using WhatsApp as platforms to be able to send messages, and they are not really tech savvy. So, um, they most times they have to wait for maybe their kids to be around them so that they can help them send these messages. And they said if they were able to schedule not just messages but also voice notes, it would really, really go a long way in taking up the whole burden of not just maybe not having to send the message, but also having to burden people because these other people are also busy with their lives. And for the fact that they have to constantly check on you, if you've maybe sent messages you're meant to send, could really be, uh, let's not use the word frustrating, but it could be a tax. So it just sums up to the fact that, okay, this is actually a feature that would be welcomed by the users. Moving on from there, I was able to create my empathy map where I was able to, okay, um, take down what they said, they think, the thing they have done and how they feel. So of course they've said, um, since I'm not able to send these messages, it just gets very tiresome because you have to keep jotting down messages or you have to keep calling people to apologize. Oh, I wasn't able to send this message at this time. And then you have to keep inconveniencing other people and all of that. And then what do they do? Most of them decide to maybe send the message at a later time and apologize. And some people just let it go because obviously the time when they were meant to send that message has passed, so they don't see the need for it. And then coming to the other group, they get to ask for help from other people, perhaps younger generations, to help them send these messages. Um, what do they feel? The first group, oh, well, it's tiresome, right? And it would actually mess your day up when you don't get to do things you feel you're supposed to at a particular time. For the other group, they feel like they are burdening other people and they don't feel so good about it because of course, the fact that you are not able to do what you want to do just keeps you in a very helpless situation, yeah. And then what do they, okay, I've talked about that. How do they feel anxious, stressed, um, overwhelmed? And also hopeful that this feature is something that is going to help lessen the whole um, stress and just you know improve the user experience of the app. And I was able to sketch like the wireframes. I'm very bad at sketching. And then um, for the send, like the previous speakers have said, actually users are more comfortable with what they know. Right? You're trying to introduce a a whole new perspective to things could actually shake things up a bit, especially for those who are not so tech savvy, like the older generations, they might just end up maybe not using the app or just struggling until they get the hang of it. So I opted to including the schedule um, option on the message icon, which is already existing. 
But in this case, I didn't make use of the whole long press um, option, right? You just tap on it as you're supposed to do usually, and there's a pop-up of, okay, send or schedule. So it is left for you to pick whichever option you want. You either send or you schedule. Same thing for the um, voice note. But then in this case, we know that um, on a normal basis, if you want to send a voice note and you just long press and you're speaking, once you're done and you release it, it just sends automatically. So I was able to find a way around it. So um, try to merge it with that other part where, okay, maybe you long press and then you swipe up. So the message keeps recording. So in this case, instead of having to go through those two processes, I, was, I tried merging it into one. So whether you long press in or you um, swipe up, before you can send, you always have that pop-up of either scheduling or sending. So this way, you are able to schedule both your messages, you're able to schedule both um, your voice notes. And also the, the first group said, okay, they would really like if they're able to schedule the time, the date, and if there'll also be maybe a kind of reminder for the message they have scheduled, because most times you might want to add to the message. So let's say you schedule a message for a meeting for 12 p.m. and you scheduled it to send, but then you find out that, okay, you might really be busy towards 12 p.m. So you have to maybe edit um, your scheduled message and you include, okay, I won't be available at 12 p.m. and maybe 4 p.m. So that feature of being able to edit a, sh a scheduled message was also included because um, if you're just able to schedule without that freedom of maybe editing and adding other things to it, it could make it really limited in a way. And yeah, including the date, the time, and if you want, you could maybe add a reminder. Yeah, I think that is all for my tags. Thank you. Okay, um, Wida, thank you very much. Um, so, can we hear me? I said thank you very much, Wida. Um, I actually yes, like I the process. You. Okay, so um, a quick one on everybody. So um, we would have to reduce the time to um, three three minutes so that we can get more people talk. So if you're coming, yeah, just try to, to some. So you have to see. So thank you very much, Wida. I. E if I'm an employer presently, I'm just going to employ you without looking at your, your designs. I, I don't want to actually know about your designs, but the fact that you can solve the problem, it's already, it's already okay. So um, let's move over to the next person. So Bernard, you're next to speak. Please just help us in three minutes so that we'd have more people talk before the end of the class. So I'm asking you to mute now. Uh, sorry, I'm kind of outside now. Good evening, everyone. Yeah, good evening, Bernard. Yeah. So the design process, the first thing I did for the, when I got the task is to actually carry out a research on the kind of people using WhatsApp. And the first thing that came to my mind is that majorly, almost 80% of everybody uses WhatsApp. So then I have to target who are those and who and who will be needing this feature I'm trying to introduce. Who are who will be needing it? Then I look at one, the busy type of people, people that work in, and that is a sector that's always busy. So though my case study is focused on uh, event vendors, majorly people that are, uh, sorry, I'm kind of nothing, please, events. People, people that are into events. So in a way for them to actually send a message to other um, people who work alongside the team members. So I carried out research and I spoke with them and what the person actually gave back to me was what I now use in actually creating a user persona for them, for them. That's when I now started the design process and Sorry, can I take permission? Can I come in back? Uh, 
Hello? Okay, sure you can. Yeah, yeah, sure you can. Um, Let me come back later, please. I'm sorry. Okay, so Danny, you're next. I'm asking you to mute right now. Who just meet your hand is off? Yeah. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. Yeah. So for my own um, case study, although I didn't spend so much time on research, I just used a simple Twitter post to do some um, interviews, something like that. So basically to get a feature to schedule um, a message, what I, what I came up with was that um, people might have the, a busy schedule and then they need to reach some people later on in the day because some you might leave some people messages and they might leave it on red. So in order to avoid that, you have to leave them that message at a particular exact time when they would see it and reply um, or respond to it. I mean, immediately at once. So that was part of the considerations for my user personnel. And, and then some people are busy that they themselves are not uh, available for instance i'm in a meeting and then i need someone who is who i'm patronizing for something to reach me once i'm done for my meeting so if you send me a, me a message now i might not see it or i might not read it and i might forget so i need when i'm done with my meeting you send me the message i'll see and i'll reply so it's helped and influenced my user personnel and then influenced my design so Basically, the flowchart for my design goes that after typing a message, you hold down the um, send button. Let's say it will be programmed for, let's say, five seconds, 10 seconds more. Once you hold it down, it will bring out, it will pop up an option to schedule a, a message, schedule that particular message. So once you um, choose to schedule message or you can do send now. So once you schedule the message, it will bring out a calendar and a time where you can select and then uh, choose when you want it to be scheduled. And then once you uh, once you click on schedule message, it would create an automatic um, chat, a chat, a kind of a, a chat here where that message which you have scheduled can go and stay. So it will just come up to the front. It's just like a normal chat, but it's not with anyone. It will just come there and stay, and then you see scheduled for social time, and then when is that time? It will disappear from that place. So that was it. Okay, oh, okay. So um, thank you very much. Now, uh, one thing you need to know, actually, for everybody, and I've been hearing people say it's for some set of people, some set of people. Uh, for me, actually, I I really want that feature to be out okay so let me give you um some a scenario that happened recently so you um you know that most times there are some persons that are very special to you that you you've it's like a tradition for you to be like amongst the first people that would send them birthday messages something like that so it happened to me recently where i i already planned that i was going to be the first to send the message because this is what i've been doing for years and getting to 11 o'clock that day, I, because I've overworked myself from office to year to year, so it was just overwhelming. And you know, you cannot cheat nature. So I just decided to drop my phone and just rest that by 11.45, I will stand up. Let me tell you my testimony. I did not wake up till 7 o'clock the next morning. And before then, uh, this is someone that I've been having issues with. So you know that kind of mindset that um, 
because you have an issue with me, you did not do it. Whereas that wasn't my intention or anything. So imagine we had something like scheduling message. I would have just typed my message when I saw that I was becoming very tired. After typing it, I would just schedule it for 12 o'clock and I'll go and sleep. Now, um, there's something you would have said about um, people thinking, um, what if I, I have, um, I don't, my phone is off, what if my data is not set? So that's why, first of all, it's just the same thing as if someone sends you a message on WhatsApp by 12 o'clock, even if you come the next day, you will still see the time the person sent that message. So it's the same thing they would have to do in this situation. So I, I pray they should actually, um, because aside could come, but I think I've seen somewhere too, people are actually people, if you go on um, Play Store, people want that feature. If you go on Twitter to ask, we have several people that, that want that kind of feature. I know of somebody that you can't send him a message by, um, if you want to send him a message, he has a time. Between 9 a.m. to 11 a.m., that's when you should send your message. If you don't send it, let's say you, you forgot, you don't send it between that time, just so that your message would not be responded to till the next day. So imagine it's something you need to collect from that person urgent, like a signature that you need to complete something that is ending that day. You'd have to wait till the next day, which is actually not nice. So I, I love um, your, your approach so far, how you were able to look at this as a, as a problem, how you're able to interview people. Some of you went on Twitter to do that. Okay, so I've talked a lot. Let's make, let's look at the next. So Aminu, I'm asking you to unmute. All right. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. All right. All right. So um so thank you. Thank you. So my um the concept I was working behind also similar to that, like the forgetting the whole birthday thing and wanting to be on time. So um yes, yeah, so one of the first things I did was um so um I'm not done actually, I have some table. And I'm just done with like designs, but the design process is still in progress, although I've made some progress myself. So, okay, so moving on. So I, I outlined my um I outlined my project overview, that is my role, my responsibility, the duration, the tools I use, the problem which was, and the major problem I saw here was that users often complain about forgetting important dates. So to me, that was just, that was just a simple um, UM problem statement for me. And the goal was to design a scheduling feature for WhatsApp. So the first thing I did was to understand my user. So um, understanding the user, that one involved um, the user research, personas, problem statements, and journey maps. So in the user research, I contacted interview. Okay, it wasn't just it wasn't really an interview, just my sister majorly. We created empathy maps to understand users and designing for their needs. And then um, yeah, also a major user group I wanted to focus on was also on um, people that use WhatsApp business because I discovered that that would be like a major, a major win for them if they can they can get all that. So some of the pain points they also um, established was on time, accessibility, and reliability, of course. Then, um, so one of my persona, okay, let's say it's um, maybe one of, I mean, a lot of people we know sell on WhatsApp, right? Also at some point, I also decided maybe I would add a scheduling feature for, for um, statuses, but like that's a bit too advanced for now. So for now, I just um, did the scheduling feature for just messages. Maybe in further reiterations, I would do for scheduling status as well. So, um, so one person right now is, um, okay, let's say her name is Maria. She's 26. She's a graduate. She's from Ogun State. She's single. She's a financial analyst. No, sorry. She sells on WhatsApp. She has a small business. Shall with the strike and everything? The student. Then um, the recent graduate, sorry, not a student. So, um, so her goal, one of her goals was to um, be able to schedule, um, schedule posts so that she can send, um, maybe like broadcast, broadcast messages because she runs a small business on WhatsApp. And then... Yeah, so I went through her user journey map. Then, okay, so from then, um, started my design, started with paper wireframes. So yeah, okay. Interestingly, I also built for um, I also built for WhatsApp web, and in as much as it is um the same WhatsApp, it's somewhat it's a somewhat different experience from WhatsApp mobile. It's quite similar, but 
it's just a bit different. So um, I started with paper sketches, did a bit of paper sketches. It's got, I, I wanted to find out where exactly I could add a feature that didn't seem like, like, yeah, that it wasn't, it wasn't new. It wasn't, um, it wasn't like, it's still WhatsApp, just new and improved. Yeah. So, um, so if, if you use WhatsApp web, yeah, you discover that, um, okay. So like, there's like a variety of options as compared to, um, normal WhatsApp mobile. So for WhatsApp web, if you're on your WhatsApp web right now, there's like, um, so on the home screen, there's, there, there are like three dots, three dots by the right. So from there, when you normally, when you click on the three dots, you see, um, six options, contact info, slam messages, close chat, information, blah, blah, blah. So I added schedule message amongst those. So I just included it. So instead of six options, you had seven options. So once you click on schedule message, you will, you will see a um, you will see a calendar. And on the calendar, today's date is like, the calendar just automatically takes you to today's date. Yeah, so from there, then another calendar opens on the day you want to schedule your message. So you have the options of continuing or canceling. Then from then onwards, so when you, when you click on, when you've, okay, when you've gotten your dates, you set your dates first, then you set your time, and then you have the option to type in your message. So after typing in your message, then, okay, after typing your message, you receive um, your message, you get that send notification, but it's not exactly send. There's an icon, like a scheduling icon on that particular message, and also that message the color changes to blue just to indicate that it's not your normal chat because you can still have your normal chat with that person even before it's time to schedule. Then um, also there's a notification or a small, you know, the way we have that messages are end to end encrypted and everything. So when you're scheduling a message as well, there's also a message scheduled for Tuesday or the particular day you want to schedule it and also the color is blue. Yeah, so... So that's for scheduling message. And also I did an option to edit the message as well. So when you still on WhatsApp web, when you click on the menu, now aside after the three dots, now when you click on the menu, there's a, you have about media links and dogs, start messages. And I also included scheduled messages on that start messages. Then, so when you click on schedule messages, you see all the, um, all the scheduled messages for that, for that particular chat you're on. Then you have the option to either on schedule, confirm once on schedule, or yeah, then you confirm whether you want on schedule or not, or you want to keep up, I want to keep up with the scheduling, and then yeah, so that's about so that's that's it, that's it for the design. Then back to the case study. Um, so yeah, so design was um it was simple, it was secure, it was reliable. Um it's also um yeah so yeah that's that was basically it yeah that's it that's it i'm done oh okay thank, thank you very much so um bernard you can come next all right i'm very sorry for the other time i'm on the road Damn. all right so like i was saying the other time Actually, my my focus was on actually the person I actually interviewed for the is an event vendor. So because majorly into I'm into events, so I have to speak with the person. What do you think we can introduce into WhatsApp, and what do you think can help you achieve your job faster? If it, so, it was not actually saying. So I gave my I told him that. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm very sorry. I told her, what about if you have a feature on WhatsApp that can actually schedule messages? So it was like I said, she's going to be very impressed with that. Most times she forget to actually send some notable information to other team members working with her as an event. Because as an event manager, you work with decorators, you work with uh, food vendors, you work with um, uh, photographers, print press and the rest. So said most times she forget to actually maybe two or three days before the event that she will remember that she has not yet message the social the event vendor. So I asked what about if now I have a schedule message whereby you can actually send a message to them, giving them the task at a specific time to keep them 
in check to actually remind them, okay, remind them three days after we to send to them, another three days before the program, another schedule message is already here, so that along the way, you will keep in touch. Maybe the, the message delivered to the to the, the team member you are sending to, the team member will remember to actually respond back to you when he or she received the message. So that now take me down to my design process to actually say, where am I going to be adding all these features? And I actually talked to somebody else too, somebody else again, the person said, it does not see any reason why they should be adding a kind of schedule message. Maybe it's just simple to open WhatsApp and actually send it. So maybe another person too, make, making three of them. So, so one person accepted it, the other person not accepted it. So I make a conclusion that since not everybody, maybe I just use that three people as just the, uh, the statistics to actually know the percentage of people will be needed since two of them think, think it's not going to be needed. So I look for a way to actually make it not visible. But if you actually need it, the option is there. So it will not look distracting for every other people that doesn't want it to be there. So that's why I have to add it to the option key, like the uh, previous speaker just said. So that's when I have to put it in that, uh, the three dots there, that's the option key over there. So I put it be, uh, below the link devices, schedule messages, then followed by the star message. So from the schedule message, that's where I have the, uh, the option for you to actually create your schedule message. That is on your chart. So when you click on the schedule message, then it move you to another page whereby you have the schedule message, whereby, who are you scheduling the message to? Then you have your contacts, you have your group. Then if, the, if possible, then we have your broadcast list. You can actually select where you're scheduling your message to. So it's not limited to a single chart. You can actually send to contacts, like can pick two or three message people to send it to at the same time. You can let to send it to four person, you can let to send it to a group, or you can to send it to a recipient. Maybe you can add four that recipient, can as many as possible you wish to send to them. You schedule your message. Then the next option that comes after it, that even with the message, you have option to actually send media. You have the option to actually send your media. Maybe you want to send a picture, a what's it called, um, a video, voice note. All of them are all programmed there through the schedule message. Then the last option I actually introduced was a way for you to actually edit your message, even if you think there's something you need to add before it's sent. So the schedule message has a safe folder whereby. The backend people will develop they develop this in a way whereby you can actually see the message right there on your phone. So it it as since WhatsApp is an end-to-end -end encryption and uh, kind of a web-based application, so it's end-to-end. -end. So the message is not actually going to be linked or stored on the website of uh, the database. I mean the database of WhatsApp to be stored on your phone directly. So I don't know how though I'm not really a a programmer, but I just know that there's a way they can actually program it whereby it will see it maybe as backup messages or have a folder separate schedule messages option. So you can actually go there when you open your bag and it is or better still, you can actually delete it again. Then you save. So that's how I walk through the process of the task. So thank you very much, Venad. Um, so tell you you're next to talk. So I'm asking you to meet okay, now. Can you hear me? Yes, I can, can hear you, you Sutanyi. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, good evening. Good evening. I'm on my system. Do I need to share my screen? Uh, it's not actually working for now, so just talk. Okay. So basically, we're asked to, to add the scheduling feature on WhatsApp. So how I, how I went about mine was, first, I, I sent out, I used the, I went through the five stages of design thinking process. I first um, empathized with my users. By doing that, I sent out um, a Google form to a few people because I needed the response as fast as possible. So I got a total of 10 responses and 70% of them felt it was a good idea to, to include a scheduling feature on WhatsApp. So I, I, I went ahead to create um, a user persona 
um, my personal was, um, um, okay, I called her Samantha, 26 years. She's a female her personality. She's creative, hardworking, and fun loving. Okay, so Samantha is a banker. She's a businesswoman and she's a mom. And she's this kind of person that she likes to, she holds friendships very dearly. So she likes to always be among the people to wish her friends well when she can. But due to her busy schedule, most times she forgets or maybe she might even, um, maybe those that are in different time zones, she might even not be awake when it's their own, when it gets to the time in their own zone. So her pain point was she wants to be able to schedule messages directly from WhatsApp without using um, third party apps. Her pain point was um, she doesn't like um, using th third party apps, like I said earlier. Then well, even when she sets reminders on her phone for a, a particular time, she might either be too busy to access her phone to send that message. So it still leaves her with the issue of not being able to attend to these messages when she really wants to. So I, I also did the information architecture to help me decide where to include this feature because WhatsApp is um, quite easy to use. So I tried not to... I try not to make it confusing for the user even after this um, um, feature is being added. So after that, I, I still um, went ahead to do my user flow diagram from how a user would um, schedule a message from when they open the app to they get the message and schedule the message and send it. Then I went ahead to do my high fidelity wireframe so what I did was um, I included the scheduling feature um, where it can be easily seen um, without having to, maybe you don't have to start maybe scrolling through the app and one day you just mistakenly see that there's such a feature. So I tried to keep it where it will be easily seen by the user since it's a new feature. So I put it, um, I designed for the iOS because that's what I'm familiar with. So I, I put this feature where you have, to, where you're typing a new message, you have the option of sending to a group, you have an um, option of um, a new contact or you choose from an existing contact. So I included the other schedule message option there. So that's for if you want to schedule to, maybe for a new chat that is not really, if not, maybe someone you've not spoken to in a while or something. So, when you do that, you then select the contact you want to schedule the message for. You choose the time and date and you schedule. Then I also, I also included it in an already existing chat screen where you have the call and video. So I put it at the top there as well. I included the schedule icon there. So um, you can... I try to not to um, I try not to put too many like for the for the um, for the when scheduling the message. What I did like when you're when you're typing a message, there's this part where they put the um, um, this thing where you want to put a sticker. You, and, um, there's an icon there for choose a sticker. So I took that out because the sticker option the sticker usually goes immediately you, you, you tap on it. So I figured for scheduling message, you wouldn't need something like that since you're not ready to send that message. So I replaced that icon with the, with the schedule setting. So after typing your message, you can still go there and select the time and dates you want to schedule the message before sending. So on the screen where you've already scheduled the message, your other messages can go through, but the one you have scheduled would have um, it will have the schedule icon there, like the waiting icon. You see that it's waiting; it has not yet been delivered, and you see the time and date it was scheduled for. And um, you can still be able to edit this message in case, let's say, maybe you sent a message and you just realized there's something you didn't include. So you can still, might still want to edit the message 
So I put, I included that as well. So that's basically how I went about my own um, case study. Okay, um, thank you very much. So Olu uh, at Simile, you are the next. Olu at Simile, I'm asking you to unmute now. Okay, so it's not available. So, um, favor, the molar favor, the molar favor, I'm asking you to unmute. Sorry, I, I did not raise my hand. No, you don't need to raise your hand. Everybody on this call is talking. OK. Yeah. So my design process, actually, I'm not so done, but close to being done. So conducted conducted my research. And with my own personal, like, I always want this feature on WhatsApp because this birthday, birthday thing, a problem for me like wishing someone early i won't do but if i am to schedule a message and okay this thing sends at times you might even forget that okay you already scheduled message, but you already know you sent the message so it's a, like a life-saving feature to me and to others too like with the interview i conducted because everybody with the research i conducted and everything everybody wants this feature on whatsapp so down to my design. I'm coming. I'm actually with my laptop. Can everyone hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Go on. Okay. So I created I created like four to five screens or four, four screens showing the old charts and on, I opened a chat being specific now. I'm so I'm talking now. I am focusing on one person's message. So having the menu or yeah, the menu icon. Once you click on the menu icon, you can see scheduled messages. But how I um showed my own scheduled icon is if you type a message instead of um you have the sticker, you have your message then. Yes, a button of attachment or something. So beside the attachment footage, I can yeah, schedule message because I checked other application, Telegram one and some others, but the main one was Telegram. Telegram, you have to like a long, a long press on the send button. That's when you see schedule icon. And this is not easy for user to get. And our um, application is usable and yeah, usable when it is like, the user does not need to be um, asking other people around that, okay, where is this, where is that? It should be direct, it should be like well-known, well-seen on the application. So I put it beside the attachments icon. So once they click on it, like, should I say dialogue book? No, not dialogue book. Like, something <laughs> it will show a pop up where you set your dates, where you set your dates and you set your time. Then a call to action of schedule message. Then the message is scheduled. Then we have a separate page for where all your scheduled messages are. Then it will show the person's name the time you want to be sent, then 
this instead of a double tick where once you send a message to show you double tick once it dead no once it sends a single tick but but once it delivers double tick so this one is showing like when your message has not sent like a time icon i don't know if you all get then we have another icon where you can if you don't want to if you want to delete the scheduled message you can delete it if you don't want to schedule the message again you can also delete it so yeah that's it. in summary that was what i did okay so um thank you very much um so next on my list is queen's leone query i'm asking you to mute. Uh, please i'm just joining in uh, i don't know the agenda for the, this, uh, for the this thing, is it how we did our slide, uh, our screen? Or what? Yes, a quick, a quick one. Yes, walk me through your process on how you came about the solution of that WhatsApp tax you were given. Okay, for my WhatsApp tax, I since it's a case study, I started with an uh, asking few of my colleagues uh, how how they see uh, scheduling message. So some say that. If if they put it on WhatsApp, it would be nice and all that. So I for the screen, I had to check uh, Gmail, which has schedule sent. So from there, I got a clue of okay, the time and the date. Had to pick date and and after that, I have to now consider where I will now look at my schedule send uh, schedule send um, button. I I drew I sketched two position which. I let her now choose the other one. So once you can, since the shadow send and the send button already is at the right, I have to position it at the left. So, but not with a field and uh, color to differentiate it from the primary send button. So when, once you click, once you have, once you hover at the button, it will bring out uh, what the an info about the shadow send which is click and now select to pick a date and time. So once you click it, you will, you will be taken to pick date and time, which you can select the date to choose the date that suits you or select the time that suits you, which you will now schedule send. So after the after the whole process of the scheduling, and I asked her, how would, now, how would the person now see the messages he or she has scheduled? So I remember that if you archive a chat, it will be at the top of the chat uh, chat box. So I have to, okay, let me now use the same same process and now put it at the top. So that's my own thought process. And I asked my friend to stay confirm. So he went and they say, what about if if the person wants to edit or delete the shadow send button? So I have to now think about how we go about that. So after everything, I could bring us on screen from there. Okay, so um, thank you very much. So thank you very much. Sorry, my, late, my late comment, I'm just arriving from work now. No problem. So um, the next session on my list is I'm asking you to unmute right now. Okay, so this is not available. I said, let me. I'm asking you to unmute. Okay, so for us not to waste time, if you are available to talk now, just raise your hand so that I would quickly unmute you. Okay, so Elizabeth, you can go Hi, on your Yeah, good evening. Good, good evening. Okay. 
experience the same thing that initially after the course of design I survey to know people's thoughts about the future. So I asked questions like would they like the food? Yes, yeah, would they like it to be? And from there I decided to check some other apps that have this feature. So I checked Gmail, Gmail about your mail for later. So I checked Gmail to see how the scheduling process is and all of that. So from the response that people would like it to be where you write your messages so that they can see it. So, so from there, I already did I last that before, so I just did it. How to go into design. So, apart from design, I where those on the chat area, where the three dots are, um, I don't know how to. By the left side, where you can open your message, you can over. So I put it. So I just put it as a test so that you can see. And it's going to show up maybe after you very tight. So your message and to come up, you will be able to schedule your messages and all of that. And after the after you've scheduled the message, after you've picked the date and the time. Of the message, there's going to be a time you scheduled it for and you did. So I but I did the usability test to see if it got to be how the going to go about. I did video of the prototype and then people can ask people to hear people to talk about it. So I got the response that people so I could not even know which of the message how I placed the scheduling option. So decide maybe I should put it inside the chat so that we know and also WhatsApp has different states where we know okay this is when I sent the message, this is when the message has been delivered, this is when that's not no ready message. So there should be a feature for that to know that okay this message was eventually for this message. So you know that okay this has been sent. So I try to put the scheduling option inside the chat so when you are reaching your message you send it, you see see this message has been shared for this time. So that's what I did. Okay, so uh, you, um, actually, your your voice was very down. We could barely hear you, but I think I got some things where you said you you had to meet some people. You were contemplating if you could add it in the chat or not. So um, thank you very much. So the next person, the next person I'm calling is um obedience. So obedience, I'm muting you now so that you can speak. Hello. Hello, um, Vivian. Yeah, good evening. Yes. Um, speaking about my design process, um, let's see. Just like everybody has said, the feature was very much needed for WhatsApp, just for every other reason that has been pointed out. People missing bad days and all of that, missing deadlines to submit documents and some time-bound um, other informations. So to start off, I spoke to about two or three friends and just like everybody has said, they did mention that the feature was very welcome. And from there, I spoke to them also on where they felt um, the positioning as in where on WhatsApp the schedule message would come in because I gave them the option, okay, like, do you think it would make sense to for it to be inside the message, as in when you are typing the message, I want you to send all um, on the three dots just before you open up the chat. And they were saying that, that um, okay, if does say um, per adventure you want you type a message, I want to share it inside the chat, there's always the possibility that you might mistakenly send the message that you're trying to schedule. So it was better for it to be in the options before opening up the chat. 
So from there, I, I went ahead and made it that when you type, when you press the option, those three dots on the WhatsApp, you it's among the options where you see mood charts, contact info, you see schedule message. Then when you type, when you tap on the schedule message, it will take you into the charts where you can type whatever message, whatever message it is that you want to send. So when you're done typing, you just hit the send button. When you hit the send button, it will come up with um, a calendar, a scrollable calendar and time whereby you can pick the dates and time where you want the message to be sent. So when you've picked that, you press done and the message would show in your chat and it will show the time it's scheduled for it. So it should be something like scheduled for 8 p.m. on the 18th of February, something like that, something like that. So from there, I think that's just a brief rundown of my design process, actually. Okay, so uh, thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. So um, the next question is, um, I don't know if it's Diana. I'm asking you to unmute. So please, yeah, you are mistakenly. Hello? Hello, good evening. Yeah, good evening. Okay, so about my case study, like, okay, so um, do you want to share your screen? If you can, do you want to share your screen? Oh, uh, no, 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 no. I'm not very okay. interested in my laptop, sorry. Okay. Okay. Okay, so about my um my case study, I I didn't really do much about that, like, when I was working on the case study. So, like, um, I'll just go straight to the point. So, I tried as much as possible to... Um, you know what people think about the new feature like okay is it really what they want is it really what they need um do they think it's something that is necessary or are they okay with how whatsapp is so with that question questions in mind i try to <clears throat> do my research by sending out um google forms to i actually use social media so I sent it out to my friends on Facebook and WhatsApp, or I made sure all of them are users of um, WhatsApp, at least they make use of WhatsApp. So, and then I got, um, I got like different um, opinions from different people. And then also I got um, same opinion from same people, from different people, sorry. So then I tried as much as possible to focus more on um, points that were more common, like the points that people um, gave to me that were more common. So, and I tried to work with that. And with those points, I came up with my, <clears throat> with my persona. I came up with my persona for the new official. And then after working on my persona, I, I worked on my user journey. Like I tried to imagine what the new feature is going to be like. Like I tried to script out um, the daily routines of the users when they make use of the app after the new feature has been added. So with that, I came up with my user journey. And then after my user journey, I went straight to my user flow, like to know exactly like to have um, a clear idea of what it really look like after adding the new feature. So with that, I was able to come up with my user flow. So, you know, user flow, it actually helps a lot to kind of reduce any possible um, problems that might arise in the feature. So with that in mind, I came up with my user flow. Then after working on my user flow, I dive straight to um, wireframe, I didn't really sketch on paper. I went um, straight to Figma. So I use Figma to, um, to, to work on my wireframe. So after working on the wireframe, I went straight to, as in, I came up, I went straight to um, start working on the, on the uh, UI, sorry, the hi-fi, the final UI. I wouldn't say the final UI, like to start working on the, on the, on the design, the hi-fi, sorry, 
So while working on the high five, in as much as I already came up with my um, with my wireframe, I still had to do some iterations. Like, okay, I'll be like, okay, I think this button is not okay here. I think it should be it should be like this. You know, I came up with many screens until I came up with those I felt okay. These screens are okay. I think I'm good to go now. So then, after the iterations, I came up with um, the final UI design where I have my screen. So actually the way I did my, the way I did my own, the way I added the feature to the to my um, screens, I just did this in such a way that, you know, there's this, <clears throat> on when you open, when you launch WhatsApp, you have your your chats, your status, and your, and your call buttons. And then also very close to that search button, you have the, the menu. So I try to attach, the, the new feature there like um inside the menu so like that drop down so i try to attach it there so now so now when you click on the menu so sorry when you click on the um schedule message there um you will be directed to to um, um a kind of input field so on that input field you have um select contact very close to the to the bo to the bar to the box you have the um, the contacts that icon that shows maybe select from your contacts. So you have the contact icon there. So when you click on it, it will bring out a list of all the contacts stored on your phone. And also you have the you have the uh, you have the date, you have the time, and also you have the box to type in your message. So. And then, so when you click on the date, when you click on the date, you'll be, you'll see um, a calendar for you to choose the date that you want, um, that you want the message to be sent. And then when you click on the time, you, you'll be asked to type in the time. And also you'll be asked to type in um, whether you want it to be in the morning or in the evening, that's AM or PM. So now after typing those messages, you have your, um, the, because at this point, the button, the, the schedule, the schedule, um, the send button, like it's, it's, it's not really active at this point. So after filling everything, all the input fields, the, the button will be, become active, like it will become clickable. So now when you click on that button, you now be directed to a page, to another page. So on that page, you have all the messages that um, you've scheduled to be, to be sent to um, the recipient. So now, so now, <clears throat> so now, um, after your messages must have been sent to the recipient, you no longer see it on that list, on that page. You no longer see it on that page. Also, you have still on that same page. You have um, something like a um, plus icon. So that plus icon, the function there is in case you want to schedule another message, you don't need to go back to the first page where you, you have to click on your menu and then start afresh, go through all the processes. So on that page, you can just schedule a message from there straight away without having to go back to the first page. So when you click on that icon, you'll be asked to schedule, maybe you ask questions like add, schedule another message, something like that. So um, also on that page, you have um, a back arrow that when you click on the back arrow, it will um, take you back to the, it will take you back to the um, the first page. So now, <clears throat> with um, that was how I came up with my final UI design, and also I try to um, do the prototype which I used to do my usability testing. So the reason why I had to do this prototype, I just needed to see if like if people would find it easy to schedule a message without me being there to direct them. Okay, you need to click on the menu before you can see um, the feature or an icon to schedule your message, that kind of thing. So I try to create, um, I try to carry out um, uh, a, um, a test. So I made a small video and then with uh, a short note, like I tried to, I told them to, um, uh, to, to schedule a message just to see if it's going to be easy for them you understand to schedule a message without any difficulty so and from some feedback that i got many people were able to 
okay, we're able to decipher that, okay, I'm, I'm supposed to click on this menu, on this um, menu icon for me to be able to see um, the schedule message um, icon or schedule message um, feature. So um, that proved to me that um, it was really easy for them, like it was not really difficult or that hidden for them to see. So then, uh, um, so that's all for now. I don't know. So that was how I went about my own case study. Thank you. Okay, so thank you very much, Diane. Uh, so the next person to talk is um, Demilola Emmanuel. So after Demilola Emmanuel, we would have um, Uyeni Adidoni and Okayemi. Then we'll be done for today. So Demilola, I'm asking you to unmute right now. Okay. Okay. Good evening, everybody. Yeah, good evening. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, I, we I can hear you. I would like to share my Sigma, Sigma, Sigma Mio on my phone. Can I begin to ask Hello? Yes, yes, you can okay. share now. Yeah. Okay, all right. I don't know if, if you can see my screen now. Yes, Hello. yes, we can see your screen. We can see your screen. Okay, quickly. Um, I just I would just quickly watch the line because I have a very low chapter of the picture now. Okay, so um my design, okay. So the challenge was that um the uh, we needed a picture for WhatsApp to add so that we can carry our messages. Okay, so uh quickly I made I did my I did my uh user research by now actually first I did my uh user survey. I kind of analyzed survey with um using my Google phone. So I was able to get like 15 response. Then which question I had was some of the questions I asked was um uh do you sometimes want your message to read before it's just for the receiver? So I got like 80 percent of yes. Yeah. And also, I ask the question like, have you ever tried to send message to someone at a particular date or time? For instance, I need to be and bash you and all. So I get 80%, 5% to your answer. So I, one of the questions I asked again was that, um, where would you love the message to do feature B? Because uh, while trying to do the user, while trying to do the online study, I actually asked some of my friends because this particular issue happened to me a long time ago. I was to greet my dad, I have to get this. So, because I was in school, I was having an exam last particular day, so I forgot. I slept off because I did in my class, so I slept off, so I was unable to, I was unable to treat him happy baby. What I later, I was later, uh, when I finished my exam, so I was so afraid, I like, I was actually called him. When I actually called him that, uh, that he happy baby, he was like, ah, you forgot your time I was like, I'm sorry if I, I actually have you in mind. So I was happy to do this, um, this uh, task. So uh, using my user, if I did my user study, I went on and then I did my user personal. Then also went to my, so I'll be watching for the my data. So then I did my task flow for my user flow. Actually, I would have called the task flow also because being the fact that we just have to just, just add a feature. So I just did a short flow, which I actually stamped as a task flow. So I did my low fidelity. Then also, then now, when I went, then I, yeah, my high fidelity now. So after being able to uh, gather my users for the, my responses, then I started my design. Then this is the first, the first thing where you can actually see contact in groups of people that you want to message. So then, okay, after you've been able to click on the particular question you want to make it, which is this particular place. I don't know if anyone can see my screen. Can you see my screen? Hello? Yes, yes, Hello. go on. You can see your screen, yeah. Okay. All right, so, so after being able to, okay, and then I, you, where you can actually make it someone particular. So, okay, so then in the next step, the next uh, design was where I was able to, okay, 
schedule the message or like type in the message in the chat box. Then also when I ask the uh, when I ask well when, when I ask uh, my users I mean uh, those that actually did my online survey, ask them from the from me from the instance here, I ask them that if where would they want the um where would they want the message maybe the message schedule feature to be? So some of them said uh at the top instance sender. Some were like, okay, maybe I should add it to the settings. And then, then some were like, okay, I should add it to the menu button. But I was able to like, okay, if I should add it to the, the I should add it like at the top of the instant center, it will be very easy for users to just navigate through. So, which was what I did here. Sorry, I don't know if you can see my screen. I don't know if it's kind of shaking here. So, sorry. Yes, go on, so, we can still see it. Yeah. Okay, so I added um, the icon of a scheduling, like, um, like a calendar schedule icon, which is right at the, at the top of the instant sender. Then also, after, being, after you type your message and you want to schedule, you just have to click on the uh, icon. Then after you click on the icon, it will take you to the next page, the next uh, where you can schedule your message, you can choose the time, choose the date at the same time, just on the same page. So you can choose the time, choose the date, choose the particular, maybe it is 12 p.m. or 5 p.m. or any time you want the message to be sent. So immediately after doing this, then, uh, then I did a prototype. Immediately after doing this, I did a prototype. So I was able to give to my friends, so I feel my friends to just check it out to see if they could actually be easy design could be user friendly to them. So some of them were able to find it very friendly. And again, so I got the feedback of, okay, this will be nice design. Well, well, it would be nice if I could just, like if they could see the outcome of after they send the message, how would the, uh, the chat would, how would it look like on the chat? So I was able to come up with this last design where I actually think, uh, where I actually think where the, um, the message is being there. Like, so you will be able to see after you, uh, the button that you type, you need to see the, uh, at this, I don't know if you guys can see, at the uh, down button, instead of it to tick, it's way for it to tick that, okay, that this message has been sent. No, it won't tick. It will just be there that the message has been scheduled to be sent by this social date and time. Yeah, I don't know if you can see my screen. Sorry, I think I'm asking because of my data. So that is how I'm able to come up with my design. Oh, oh, wow, wow. Thank you very much. So I was supposed to make a comment here, but um, let's move on. There's no time. I still have some people to talk. So um, thank you very much. I, I guess we would have to do a comprehensive um, feedback. So I um, believe I'll address you later on. So the next person to talk quickly on mute and okay, toasting. So you can stop now. Um, okay, good day, everyone. Hi. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Um, well, working on this project, um, the first thing I did, I went to check on the Clay Store. Some of the issues were already um, spoken about on the Clay Store. So after checking, I saw that so some of the pain points. So I did personal interviews with some of the people around me and I asked them if they would like um, the schedule pictures to be added to WhatsApp. So knowing fully well that WhatsApp is one of the most used social tools now. So I was able to get a lot of feedback. So some people said yes, that they've actually had issues not being able to send messages due to maybe for send it on time, like birthday. So on some, some of the pain points that were addressed were that okay, they were not able to send the messages because they got they were not able to send it because at a particular time, maybe maybe the uh, deliver until they got to where they were a better network coverage. And then some other pain points were also that um some people said while the um while they were in Nigeria and the messages they wanted to send to people were people in probably India also. So the time differences 
would cause those people not to be able to get it on time. And by the time those people are awake or they are available, they would be asleep or something. So like to have that feature. So our um, design process um, was that I, after doing the, um, after doing the interviews, I went ahead to do um, a, to build a user persona based on the interviews I did already. So the user persona featured people that were actually busy, like people that had busy schedules and all of that, but would also like to, you know, catch up with friends and family and not, and not want to be left behind. So um, their pain points I already listed out and some of their needs or their interests to be that they want to be able to schedule messages at a particular time or date, but also they will also want to be able to edit those messages or delete them so they won't, um, so in case they are, no, they are no longer interested in scheduling those messages, they also want to delete it, they want that part to be included. So I went ahead to build um, lo-fi, although I'm not done with my design, though I'm still in progress. So when I had to build a lo-fi design, um, one of the challenges I faced while building the lo-fi was um, where exactly to place the schedule feature. So I, so I had to go back to interview the people I interviewed earlier and ask them, okay, so what part of WhatsApp would you want this feature to be um, placed? That was where I realized that WhatsApp for iOS and Android were actually quite different. So for those with Android, they said they wanted to be added to chat, like at the top corner. So they wanted to be added there, and it should be it should be a feature where after they chat and um, type their messages, something they can include. Why for iOS users? They also said those scheduled messages in their sentence for adventure, they get them for preferred if you click the um, a wrong profile and they send it down and they can't locate that so they want to be so I went ahead to um design with the design. So I built the first page like for a normal chat, then the second page um where you can type in your messages um and then the third page you be um you have to click on the plus button. For those that are using iOS you're quite familiar that there's a plus button at the um left hand side of your um, chat box, but you can just click on it and then under the scroll, you get to schedule your messages. After sh um, clicking on schedule messages, then you get to select the date and time you want to schedule that message. So um, that's how my user flow goes, by the way. So after that, um, I designed, I also designed um, a setting page for WhatsApp, like the pre existing setting page. I just added the feature of, okay scheduled messages under the start messages. There's also scheduled messages where you can view all your scheduled messages at once and you can edit it, delete some or rewrite some. Thank you. Thank you very much. So um of where you me ask to mute please you have just two minutes uh to talk um, are they doing it? So let's just be. Please, I, I want to confirm that you can see my screen. Yes, you can see your screen. I'm trying to get people. I already loaded. So basically, um, the method I used for my for my design thinking, I started with a job map because I I just got into the light of job map this week, so I thought it'd be nice to use it. Um, job map is about users being loyal to the job, getting the job done. So I thought of using that as a as a means to to figure out what they are trying to achieve when they schedule a the message. I was like asking a question that. Why would anyone want to schedule a message in the first place? Like, why would one hire a message for that? So, the core functional job was that people don't want to miss out on important moments. So, I went, I went, 
kind of backwards and be like, okay, what are the normal ways that people want to use to make sure that they are included in people's memory? So using the job stage, they are kind of like it for the demo. So I came up with a way to frame the questions in such a way that users want to be aware that Hello. Okay, so um, while we're waiting for you, the next, the last question, please, you can quickly just start. Are they doing? I'm asking you to do it. You can quickly start. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, um, okay, I have my excuse, but maybe I'll just switch up because of time. I'll just go through it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so for me, um, doing this user case study was well, it was a learning curve for me because it's not like I've done anyone before. So first things first for me was I actually had to go and research like what are the things that should be like in your case study and all those kind of things. So I did my own research on case study itself, and then. And moving forward, so the way I started my own case study was having to like, yes, I did a brief like just check WhatsApp on Play Store and iOS and just the way it looks like. And then the first thing I did in list of like the case study was like to define like a problem statement. And um, it's, the problem statement is from what like the tax we are giving that, okay, want to get a new WhatsApp feature for our this thing. And I just wrote out some goals that some of the goals was to develop like a scheduling feature, like to also help users to stay connected and be there for their loved ones, even when they're not able to do so. And the, my last goal was to improve the, the overall user experience. And then, okay, so I added the timeline too, and timeline was between Thursday and then Sunday that ended to, to deliver whatever. I also said my role in the like entire team, to, like as a product designer to help to I said I was partnering with CodeCamp to do it, so that's why I wrote. And then for me, the platform that I worked with was mobile platform. That's what I worked with, like only mobile this thing. And then okay, yeah. So to start, one of the things that I, I thought about was having was how that WhatsApp is like a known brand already. So um, like they already have like they have done like some form of research before they started doing product, and like it's not a new product in the market. Like people already know about WhatsApp and those kind of things, so it's not a new product. So the kind of research method I made, I just I sent out surveys. Actually, I used the Google form. So I sent out surveys to people to just ask them that, okay, what do you think about having like a new WhatsApp um, feature to be added to their like normal daily interface? So when I sent out, I had, I got like 18 responses, and about 67 percent of them said that they were interested, like they would love to have it, and then 11 percent were like. Well, maybe, sorry, 22% said maybe, like, maybe or that's either, either they want or not, but like the rest now said no. So I went with the um, people that said they were going to um, love it since they were like our core, like people that were going to use. And okay, so also the, my target users were like um, people that were busy, people that I tried to like send the questionnaire to like busy people, young persons, like let's say from like 18 to 45, that kind of age, like youths. Actually, they didn't include any old person per se. And then, okay, so I said the user, the result of my research showed that like a large portion of the users would like be delighted at having this schedule to be incorporated into their WhatsApp, so into the current user interface. And so for my own ideation, so what I did was that I started out by sketching on paper first. So I sketched on paper, I had the total of six screens, but I iterated on the way, so I, I ended up with seven screens. But so um for my own, the way I decided to like include the future, sorry, the future after for my wireframe was having that, okay. So yes, I did for iOS too. And I can share my screen, but I'm just reading from, just to summarize, I'm already at the addition part. So what I did was that um, there's a plus icon that is on, somebody has actually mentioned, there's a plus icon that is on um, iOS this thing. And what I did was that if you press it, then you list um, that list of icons again. There's camera, photo, and all those things. So I added like a schedule, like a time icon, and then schedule message. That would be like the new feature. 
And after that screen, the next screen will now take you to like a date and time where you can pick like the, like it to bring up a like, calendar so you can look at the particular day and the time. So I picked that and then after that, it will now take you to the WhatsApp normal messaging feature and then you can type the message. And then when you are typing the message, it will show you date and time that I've already picked. And me, I decided to actually maintain like the blue, like normal blue this thing. So when you send the message to deliver actually, but you still deliver with the blue, like everything, the blue tick, then to show you scheduled message, it will show you the dates that are scheduled and to also double um, that normal double blue tick. And my own rationale was that instead of using like maybe a separate color for it, I, 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 what I tried to envisage was that if they sent the message, why send the message and then use a different and then not allow it to send like normal message because you want it to later send. My own mind, I was like, okay, that they could actually send the message and then it will actually do like a normal message that has sent, just that date will be different. And so it can give them some form of, what's the word? It can give them some form of comfort that, okay, well, because if they, if I use a different color, maybe I used one tick, in their mind, they still will tamper with their psychology because they have used it for a long time. So if you imagine you say that you have sent a message, but it's only one tick, no matter how you want to believe in your mind that it has gone, one part of your mind might still say that it's still pending, like, oh, you still need to review what you have done. But for me, I just made it double tick. And then when I made it double tick, if they, it will still show scheduled message, then on the day of the, um, maybe the day that I have set it, maybe like, maybe let's like June, when that day comes, that scheduled message will now change to like delivered. And then some other things that were there before, like all those, like I said, I made, I put the dates there. It's not going to be there again. It will just go away and do that, okay, that's delivered. And then that way, it, it will just look, it will now look like a, maybe a normal message that has actually delivered. And so for me, that was like the entire process that I went through to like introduce the feature. And then I'm looking forward like later on to actually iterate more. But I wanted to first get feedback first, but that was it for me. That was what I did. Thank you. Okay, so um, thank you very much. We've actually exhausted our time. We just have um, 10 more minutes, so um, we can't actually talk. So what we have fun is, for those of you that have not spoken, I actually know all of you. So on Wednesday, once we start class, I'll give you your five, five minutes each to just talk about your process. So for you, keep on, if you know that there's anything you did not do in your, in your design, I don't want to hear, it's still in process. So you have from now to Wednesday to talk about it. So I know Daniel, Lope, and me. So uh, thank you guys for today. So before we end the class, um, believe I uh, would want to address you for a few minutes. So believe over to you. Thank you guys for today. Okay, um, good evening, guys. Please, can you hear me? Yes, Hello, can, can I hear you? Yes, we can hear you. Thank you very much. Okay, um, first of all, I want to say I have seen a lot of beautiful and amazing designs. Seriously, I have, I have seen a lot of improvements in your works. I have seen a lot of improvements. Can you hear me, please? Yes, yes, we can hear you. Okay, I have seen a lot of improvements in you guys' work. And also, I want to, um, can I say, um, state out some points here. If a project is being given or a tax is being given to you, I think the first thing you need to do is to understand what the, pro um, the tax is all about. Um, just, just give yourself some time. Probably. And what you're asked to do first before showing that I probably even information if you give it to a layman on this what's the study.
Okay. Um, okay, so good evening, everyone. Uh, my name, thank you. I think you're having network issues, but let me see if I can just summarize what you're about to say. Okay, so um, guys, um, in summary, okay, um, like she said, some of you have actually improved, and um, but for others, I would want to advise you, okay, um, try not to play smart, okay, don't, when you're giving a task, understand what you're being given, and at the same time, when you're actually doing your task, do it professionally, and do it as someone who understands what is being given, before you even submit, one of the things I like to do, I like to ask myself, have I met the criteria that this um, uh, task actually requires? Secondly, if I were to be a trainer and someone submits this thing to me, what would be my, you know, feedback to the person? Okay, you guys are free to, you know, communicate with each other, network, have someone you're uh, uh, accountable to, someone who can review your work, okay? I think that's one of the reasons you were supposed to have a pair. And of course, you're also in the same track. You can actually reach out to each other, hey, okay, this is what I've been able to do. What do you think? Okay, don't go and copy and paste. You are not doing yourself um, uh, any good at all. And at the same time, you put us in a position where we have to take certain measures with you that you may not actually find uh, funny or find very interesting. So please take time to understand and give back quality. What you cannot do now, you probably but you most likely not be able to do it you know in the nearest future if you cannot discipline yourself to you know pass through the process and get that done trust me if you do shortcuts it will still actually show later on of course you guys want to get a job at the end and you know get placed and the likes if you're not able to learn these things now you will not you won't learn it there because on the job where you're being paid is not a learning ground it's a ground where you actually implement what you've learned so please take note of that. For some of you who try to play a bit of funny games, uh, please, I would advise you actually go back and take a look. Remember, more than three feedbacks means you're not getting any feedback anymore. Okay, I'm very, I'm, I'm actually very, very interested in the intermediate trial because um, I want you guys to actually be, you know, come out being better. Okay, you will soon kickstart your project phase, which is more like an internship phase for you, where you're going to be actually building and designing real life products that are going to go live. So, and those persons who will do that is not going to be everybody. Okay. Persons who will push, you know, who would want to work with will not be everybody. It has to be persons we are certain has the right attitude to learning and the right, um, you know, character to work. Okay. So guys, thank you very much. Okay. So if you have not actually done your task or you, with respect to the feedbacks that you've gotten today, you know that there's a lot you still need to do. I advise you go and do that before the submission link closes. So thank you very much. Uh, Boma, if you have any other thing to add before we round up. No, 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 no other thing. All right, thank you, guys. See you on Wednesday.